Prescient Analytics, a premier provider of data analytics services, combines the most advanced technologies and analytic techniques to solve our clients' complex problems. Our analysis as a service team, leveraging the best-in-class analytic platforms, can assist law firms conducting data-intensive investigations and discovery to achieve the desired result. The following notional investigation is based on real-world examples of prescience analysts providing quick, comprehensive, and compelling analysis to major international law firms. The demo scenario is as follows. The Acme Auto Corporation has recalled its flagship car, the Excelsior, due to faulty wiring that causes the car to fill with smoke. The company thoroughly investigated the problem and issued a highly confidential report. Although the report had limited circulation, many employees had a hand in its creation and may have seen it in some form. Ultimately, the report concluded that Acme executives were unaware of the faulty wiring until the recall was issued. But a popular car blog has just released a story claiming that an inside source within Acme left an over 10-minute voicemail on the blog's anonymous tip line. The tipster alleges that Acme executives knew about the defect well in advance of the recall and worked to keep it from the public. The story includes very specific information that could have only come from the internal report, albeit with a different conclusion. Acme Auto executives strongly claim innocence on this charge and have hired outside counsel to find the source of the leak. We begin by ingesting the relevant Acme corporate email and phone information. First, turning to email, using traditional methods we can quickly search to determine whether the report was emailed or otherwise sent outside of the distribution list. This email search turns up empty. Using the Acme corporate phone logs provided to us, we can visualize the phone call data and easily concentrate on the time frame closest to the publication of the blog post. We can further narrow down the relevant calls to only calls lasting 10 minutes or more, narrowing our field of suspicious events. With this number of phone calls to investigate, we will search our data to determine who made these calls and to which numbers. On the right, we can see the names and job titles of the Acme employees associated with these suspicious phone calls. Within that limited subset, let's focus our attention on a research scientist, an ethics officer, and two administrative assistants, all of whom may have had access to the ACME internal report. Immediately, we can rule out Gertrude Houston, the research scientist, because her call was to an internal ACME number. Next, we'll focus on Robert Diggs, the ethics officer. The ACME headquarters org chart allows us to see that Robert Diggs works in the ethics and compliance office for Gary Grice, the chief ethics and compliance officer but the corporate structure is such that the ethics office is firewalled and did not receive a copy of the report, so we can eliminate Robert Diggs with some confidence. Also in the org chart, we can see our two suspect administrative assistants, Karen Fisher and Eric Perry, and their supervisors. Karen works for the CFO, and Eric works for the general counsel, which would have given both potential access to the necessary details to make the anonymous phone call. Unfortunately, with the data provided by ACME, we have reached a bit of a dead end. We only know that Karen Fisher and Eric Perry made 10-minute phone calls to an unknown outside number, but we cannot be sure from the phone data if either of those calls were the leak. Using Prescient's unique open source data gathering and analysis techniques, we can supplement the internal ACME data with social media information on our potential leakers. Let's take a look at Karen's and Eric's social network information to see if there's any connection to the blog author, Max Simmons. Beginning with Karen Fisher, we can see that her social media privacy setting is set to public, which is the default setting. This means we'll be able to access her full social media network. Adding her friends to our analytic workspace allows us to visualize the data and search for any connections to Max Simmons. We do not find Max Simmons in her immediate links, but we have the capacity to further expand her network to even second degree connections. Still no Max Simmons. Switching gears to Eric Perry, his social media connections are private, and therefore we cannot directly access them for our analysis. However, using Prescient's data collection and analysis techniques, we can work around that obstacle to see if there's a social media link to the blogger Max Simmons. Since Max's connections are public, we are able to scrape his links and use a Prescient proprietary formula to locate any mutual friends with Eric Perry, even though Eric's connections are kept private. In this instance, we are able to find a mutual link of Eric Perry and Max Simmons, a woman named Annie Curry. Looking closely at Annie's social media footprint, we can see that she has tagged both Max Simmons and Eric Perry in a photograph, proving that they had an opportunity to meet each other in person. While circumstantial, this evidence provides the clearest path to identifying the leaker and will allow the law firm to question Eric Perry about his role in this unfortunate episode. 
Precient Analytics, through the use of the best analytic tools and techniques, is able to combine proprietary and open source data to reach solutions for our clients in unique and creative ways. Our analysis as a service offering allows our clients to get to the answers faster and with greater accuracy. We look forward to serving you for all your legal data analysis requirements.